Okay, let's get started on migrating from Excel. This is the first section of three sections on migrating. And uh, I want to go over the typical problems you'll first confront when you uh, bring, in, bring tables in. You import them from Excel. So you should have uh, downloaded the, the Migrate 1 database. I've got that open right here. And there's three Excel databases, or excuse me, spreadsheets. Excel Data Bad 1, Bad 2, and Excel Data Good. So I want to start, I've got, uh, got those on an F drive here, and I'm going to open up this first one. When you first start migrating, you don't know what you need to do. Basically, you need to get rid of all the, the headings at the top, and I'll show you what happens if you don't. So that this is the first row. The column titles are there. Let me go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go back to Access, and let's try and import that table that we that spreadsheet we just looked at I'll go to external data up here on the top and on that ribbon we'll go to Excel and we will browse to the F drive Excel data bad one that's what I want and we'll just leave it at as import the source I'll click OK and you can see the problem it looks at everything starting with the first row and I could indicate these are my field names but it only lets me do that if they're the first row and not only that if I click on next if I just try and get, get through it what it's doing on the next step is analyzing each one of these fields it's just naming them with generic names field one field two field three but then it's also assessing what the data is in each one the problem is there's these text titles on the top so it sees every single field is text even if I go over here to unit price it sees that as a text field quantity is a text field the uh, dates if I click on date that's a text field so it's a, a giant mess if you do that it's just not gonna work so I'm not even gonna proceed I'm gonna cancel uh, one other thing that I will mention if you go to uh, if I open that up again one other problem people have sometimes is the uh, formatting of the, the data. If I click on data and and I sort this, uh, if you're trying to get in your zip codes and you've got people in the northeast with the zeros in the front, notice they've got a problem here with that. What you need to do is to, I'll press F2 to edit that, you need to put an apostrophe and a zero in the front because the apostrophe tells Excel that this is text. So that's what I would do with all of my uh, zips and sometimes it can come through as a number. That's why these are formatted to the right. So I'll put an apostrophe zero in the front and these become text also. So just remember the apostrophe forces whatever's in the cell to be construed as text. Okay, so I'll close that and don't need to save it. In the next lecture we'll go on to Excel Data Bad 2 and you'll find that there the title uh, and all the stuff on the top has been removed so we just have the uh, first row being the field names but there's a whole other set of problems so we'll confront those in the next lecture